I am eternally blessed. Eternally blessed. So, how do I want to be remembered? Don't forget. <laughs> I call him the Holy Trinity. My wife, my son Robert, and my son Adam. <laughs> That's my domestic trinity. Uh, authentic and faithful. I want to be remembered as someone who is faithful to the call of God in my life. I want to be remembered as someone who loved God with all their heart, loved people um, passionately. So I like to think of myself as encouraging people to do things perhaps they've never done before. Uh, I love teaching, I love preaching. I, I, I love just encouraging people, yeah. I want to be remembered as a person who loved Jesus and loved the people Jesus loves. It is not necessary to remember me. And that Jesus should be everything. As somebody that was compassionate and loved to laugh and uh, was there when I was needed. As someone who uh, had what I like to call the less anxious presence, someone who um, people could come and talk to without there being any judgment, someone who just loved people as they are, um, yeah, I would really like to be remembered that way. Faithful. I want to be remembered as being a um, faithful disciple, a uh, faithful friend, um, a good person. I guess I want to be remembered as a caring pastor, somebody that's compassionate, that loves his congregation, not just the congregation, but people outside the congregation. Because I find myself talking to friends of the congregation that may need prayer and I, I would like to be known as a praying compassionate pastor that really cares because that's what God has been instilled in me and, and I appreciate that. I would like to be remembered as somebody who tried to help make things happen. Uh, kind of a resource person has always been my forte and uh, uh, finding out a solution, being an opportunity engineer, uh, finding ways to involve people. I think I'd like to be remembered uh, as a servant, uh, someone who simply served the churches. Uh, they were never my churches, uh, they're God's churches, and to be able to be part of that. My dad one time uh, talked about that in, in relationship to an old uh, uh, advertisement on TV, and the way he basically said it was, he said, you know, the United Methodist Church doesn't uh, guarantee you uh, a great pension or uh, the largest house or the finest car or all the things that, you, that the world might be able to, to provide. But what the United Methodist Church does offer you is an opportunity to serve. And that's resonated with me throughout my life, and I think that's uh, most important. Not how many uh, I took in on this and what numbers came out of this, it's did you serve as a faithful and good servant? And to me, that's, that's kept me going. <laughs>